what's good, Grey Gang? We're here today, and we're going to be carving this pumpkin. Except today, we're not using a knife. Well, we will. But first, we're using a gun. And what I mean by we are using a knife? Well, I do plan on throwing a few. The exact gun we're going to be using is a 22. Now, this is a, you know, 22 long rifle. The exact model is a Mossberg International 702 Plinkster. Now, I mean, to be honest, guys, it's not the most expensive. It's not the best 22 out there. However, it does get the job done, and it shoots fairly fast, which is all I'm really looking for today. It's a semi-automatic, and I even got it at Walmart, so they shouldn't be too hard to find. Now, the bullets I'm actually going to be using are these right here. These were actually sent in by one of you guys, the Grey Gangsters, in the mail. They send them bullets in the mail. Some y'all may call it illegal, but I call it murder. And because that's a big old pumpkin, I may even have to go get the bow on this one. And so first things first, before we can shoot a pumpkin, we gotta load the gun. So, here we go. We are live right now. Safety is now off. And let's go for an eyeball. There's the left eye. Now let's go for the right eye. Okay, okay. So we're making a little bit of progress here. Not so much on like the entry wound, but one thing I did notice is all the pumpkin that sprayed over here. Let's look at the exit wound. Oh yeah, that's what we're talking about with the exit wound. And those bullets that were sent in, those are hollow points. That's exactly what they're supposed to do. They're supposed to go in and once they penetrate, expand and you know, blow out the other side just like that. I believe I'm going to reload real quick and just keep working on that left eye because, well, I'd like it to be a little more defined than that. Here we go. We're just going to load it up. Now, this clip right here, it only holds 10 shells, which, I mean, that's plenty enough to go hunting and just shoot around and stuff. However, I'm about positive that if you searched around, I'm sure you could find like a 25-round, you know, banana clip or banana clip or whatever, or bajanji clip, I don't know, banjo clip, whatever you call it. And then again, I'd say that if you looked hard enough, you could probably even find like a 50-round drum or maybe, I don't know. And there we go. There's our 10. We're just going to load it up. Now, all we got to do is rack one in the chamber and point it and shoot it. So... Here we go. I'm going to go ahead and hollow that eye out a little bit more. Okay, that's good. Now let's um uh let's go on the right eye for a little bit. That done it. Here we go. Got I keep forgetting to rack the dang chamber. Alright, there we go. I believe the eyes are, you know, the eyes are coming along. They may be finished, but, you know, we may curve out that last one. Hey, boys, but let's just go look at it. I mean, here's the two eyes. They're coming along great, except to be honest, guys, I think I made this one a little bit too big. This eye over here, you know, it's perfect. This one over here, well, I mean, yeah. I had fun with it, I can at least say that. Let's look at the back of the pumpkin. I'd say it's about, oh my, look at this. Look at all this pumpkin. We're definitely putting some damage on it, that's for sure. I believe now, since you know the eyes are looking good and everything, let's go right in here and let's try to get us a mouth. But here's the question. What kind of mouth do we want? I'm not saying I'm accurate enough to, you know, like, make a good design on the mouth. I'm just saying, like, a smiley face looks good. And now that I'm looking at it, like, bro, this man needs eyebrows, don't he? And then he needs a nose, and I believe I know what we need to do with the nose. Well, I think a broadhead would make a good nose, don't y'all? I'm gonna shoot out the mouth, then I'm gonna go get my bow. And if you've not picked up on this yet, we're doing this because it's Halloween, and you know, Halloween, people do jack lanterns but here's the thing, okay? It's Halloween. During Halloween, you know, you dress up. My friend, he actually, um, uh, well, he dressed up as Brocro, you know? I thought that's pretty awesome. And I'm just wondering, like, did any of you guys, like, dress up as Brocro? Or maybe any of you guys, like, dress up as Bucky? Or maybe you dressed up as a Trap and Shake on Wheels? Personally, I don't know. If you did, go ahead and leave me a comment. Because, uh, well, yeah, that'd be cool to know, wouldn't it? There's a crow. There's a crow. Ah, uh, better not shoot that. Go to jail, wouldn't it? Okay, but anyways, here we go. Smiley face. Dang it. I always forget to wreck the thing. We're getting somewhere now. And just a real quick note, I want to let y'all know that, like, if you're in the Grey Gang and you're not loving this video, stay tuned for the end of this video, because, like, I, I need to discuss something with y'all, and I really need your opinion on it. But if you love this, boys, hit the subscribe button, smack the like button. But anyways, let's finish this dude's mouth. And we need to name this guy. Maybe, um, a Jacko Shooter? Jacko Lantern? Except, I don't know. I need a laugh. Bro! Okay, one more touch. I think might just, you know, do the mouth. And hey, Emma, here's the knife I was talking about earlier. Okay, let me retry. Retry. We'll get it here in a minute, I promise. Bro, it hit the, it hit the handle.
I quit right there. I just can't do it. Okay, guys. So about that little knife throwing incident, we're just going like that never even happened. I honestly don't even know what was happening there, okay? Like, I'd hit the pumpkin, but I'd hit it with the handle instead of the blade. Like, what in the world? Well, let's just act like that never happened. But now I'm out here with my bow with a broadhead, guys. Now, I'm just going to let you know, I've only shot two broadheads in my life, and they were at two deer. I didn't kill either one of them, but we're just going to act like that didn't happen either. Right now, we're standing about 20 yards from the pumpkin. 20 yards is the average range that most pumpkins are killed with bows. Just a little fun fact of the day for you. But besides that, here we go. We're going for a nose this time. We've got the two eyes. We've got the mouth. We've done all that with 22. Now we did a nose. Hopefully, we can make it a triangular nose. I'm going to zoom y'all into the pumpkin that way, you know, you can see what happens. But anyways, here we go. Three, two, one. Oh my lordy. Did you? Oh my. What? I just... Oh my gosh. Like, bro, I didn't even hit the target. What's my excuse for this madness? Well, this arrow only has two veins on it, and it is chipped at the bottom. But I still don't understand that right there. Like, look, guys, it hit way up on the bank. There's the pumpkin. Way over here's my thing. Like, bro, what in the world does that mean? But yeah, my thing, it's only got two veins on it, and then up here at the top, it's a little, you know, it's got part of the carbon chipped up here. We're going to try it again here from 20 yards, but then if it messes up again, we may have to move in really close. But here we go. Trial number two. My kisser button's gone. Where in the world did my kisser button go, bro? Or did I even have a kisser button? What in the world is happening? Never mind. I didn't even have a kisser button on this bow. Guys, I'm going crazy. My bad. I'm sorry. Okay, I don't know. I hit the pumpkin, but it sure didn't hit the nose. I helped the mouth a little bit. Definitely helped the mouth. You can see right here is where I hit, you know. There's the blades coming out one, two, and then, you know, well, three right there. I did help shape the mouth, but I didn't do nothing to the nose. We're going to have to do this thing. Here's my next question. Where'd my arrow go? Oh, I sure hope that's not it. Oh, dang it, it is. Now I've only got two blades on the broadhead and one vein on the arrow. Well, that's not good. Hey, but here's the good thing, guys. You can look all the way down my arrow. You see a bunch of good lung juice from the pumpkin? Hey, that's a clean kill. We ought to hear him crash any moment now. After further inspection, I can tell you that both my broadhead and the base of my arrow are cracked and bent. So let's just keep this little secret between me and you, okay? Just don't tell anybody, because then that'll ruin but it. But here's what we're going to do, okay? Just, uh, let's just keep this a secret, okay? And boom! I made the nose of my bow! Oh, yeah, there we go. Just, uh, yeah, there we go. Yeah, that is a good 25, 30 yard shot, and, uh, hit him right in the nose. But now that we got the eyes, the nose, the mouth, all the basic parts of a pumpkin, what do we do next? Well, you'll put a candle in it. You heat the sucker up and let the smell goods come out. So, that's what we're about to do. Right there is the pumpkin. I'll be right back. Pumpkin about to go boom. Uh oh, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Well, that was disappointing. It didn't even explode. I mean, it smells good though, but it didn't explode. Hey, but it looks spooky though. It looks spooky. Look at there, he's on fire. Well, not gonna lie guys, I was expecting quite a bit more than that. But hey, what are you gonna do? I guess since I still like have half a tub of bullets, I'm gonna, you know, call my shots. See if I can hit the stem or something like that. I'm hitting the stem. There we go. Hey, yo, oh, you know I hit that stem right there. You know I hit the stem. Oh, yes, I got it. I finally got it. Now, guys, I really don't know if deer eat pumpkins, squirrels, zucchini, rabbits. I don't know if any animals eat pumpkins, but I'm just going to leave it there for looks. If a critter of any kind just decides to eat it, I'm not going to get mad. He can have it. But right now, me and my cousin, we're actually going to go deer scouting, and that's what I wanted to talk to you guys about. Okay, so, like, you know I'm a... Bucky? Now, like I said, me and my cousin, we're going out deer scouting, and we're scouting a place that, you know, it's very, very new to us. We've never really, you know, been there, really. I mean, yeah, we've, like, drove by it, but, like, we've never really been there. And, you know, we're going to check it out and, you know, see if we want to hunt it. But here's what I'm asking you guys, okay? So, like, coming into the season, I was like, yeah, I'm going to kill Bucky and Bucky only. Here's the thing, guys. What if I see, like, a giant 12-pointer? Or what if I see, like, a nice 10? Do I go on out there and shoot a buck of a lifetime? Or do I stick back and, you know, go for a small 8-pointer called buck? I mean, here's the thing, guys. The rut is coming up. And during the rut, almost, like, crazy stupid things happen, okay? Like, big deer come out of nowhere. And, you know, I'm gonna be out there hunting for Bucky. Like, I just wanna ask you guys. If a buck of a lifetime comes out, I'm probably gonna have to shoot him. And y'all understand that. I know you do, cause you're fellow hunters. And here's the deal I'm gonna make with y'all. Number one target. If I have a choice, hey, I'm going for a Bucky. I'm going, here's the deal, okay? The deal is like, I'm not gonna come out and I'm not gonna shoot an eight-pointer. Just cause it looks good. I'm not just gonna shoot any other buck besides Bucky. I'm not just gonna shoot any deer. It's either gonna be Bucky 
or a buck of a lifetime. So here's what I'm gonna do, guys. You know how I can pin comments, you know, like stick them up at the top to where they stay at the top? That's what I'm about to do. Here's the plan. So I'm gonna pin my comment, and the comment is gonna say, yee yee if y'all agree with this hit the like button on the video go down to my comment hit the like button on it and reply to my comment yee yee so we're basically signing a petition except everybody's name is yee yee so go on down reply to my comment and let's make this hunting season the best hunting season ever but now since you went down there and replied to that me and my cousin like i said we're going out deer scouting i think we're actually going to put up a deer stand too so hey that should be awesome. Well, guys, we made it up to where we're going to put the stand. I can pretty well say we're in the middle of nowhere, but we do have the stand, and well, we're going to put it up. So we're about halfway into getting it up there, you know. We got it on the tree and everything, and then we noticed something. You see that step right there? It's backwards. So as of right now, we can't climb no farther than right there. But besides that, we're good. So did we get much done out there today? Well, I mean, yeah, we put up the tree stand, and we done quite a bit. We done like an hour and a half of scouting that I just didn't film because, well, it's a lot of walking, to be honest. And then we checked the trail cameras, got a few bugs, got a few does, got a lot of coons, just normal stuff like that. But what I wanted to tell you guys is, you know, you know how last month in October was like, you know, Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and how I was donating percentage of all the proceeds from the breast cancer shirts to the ABCF? Well, I just want to let you know that I have confirmed the payment. I have paid the foundation, and on my website, I've even got a little article thing, you know, a weird article. I made it myself. First article, but, you know, I think it was pretty cool. Titled... How the Grey Gang changed the world. Because like legit, guys, we impacted the world in a positive way. It's this pink little section, and it's even got people that we helped. That's a specific person we helped. Here's some breast cancer facts here. Then we got more people, more profiles. So so if you want to take a look at that, it'll be down in the description, kindlegray1.com. It's not slash shop, it's just .com. So, you know, the homepage so that you'll see the actual article thing. And then, you know, while you're over there, if you want to pick up a hat, I ain't going to get mad at you. If you want to pick up a Bucky shirt, that'll be good too. But yeah, guys, head on over to kindlegray one com and just check out this little article about how you guys you know how you really did help people and i'm just gonna let y'all in a secret we're gonna do something similar for december but anyways roll the outro my dude if you're not part of the gray gang go ahead and subscribe by hitting the button on the top right and feel free to watch some of my past videos on the left as always favorite squad post it up down low if you want some of this sweet merch head on over to kennelgray onecom or the link in the description but besides that i'll catch you later in tomorrow's video